All right, today we only have one attempt at a boss. We're fighting Yorm, the giant. And of course, because I did everything right, we have Sigurd here to help me. And I'll be quiet for the rest of this cutscene. Yorm, old friend. Secret of the Knights of Katarina have come to uphold my place. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. That's interesting because in this fight you don't actually have to summon him. As long as you did his quest properly, he will just show up. The sword that's a lot like uh, the one from Demon Souls you use on the boss. It actually does a lot of damage to the boss. I think it is possible to just let him entirely kill it. But it's nice to work with distraction so he can you know, not die. This really makes this probably the easiest boss fight in this game. <laughs> That is assuming you're willing to go the effort to make sure Sigward's alive. Now it's interesting that Yorm doesn't look anything like the giants that we see in Dark Souls 2 at all. You'll notice uh, in the cutscene you can actually see he has a face under there, whereas the Dark Souls 2 giants tended to be faceless. And I'm kind of curious how it relates to the masked giants you see in other parts of this game and Dark Souls 1. I don't think they really go into detail about that. Because he has very telegraph attacks that are easy to dodge. Sigward even got the last hit in. Now once this is over, Siegfried dies, you get a thousand souls. And you can claim his equipment.